for a little bit and do a little vlog day in my life update on how I'm doing 16 weeks pregnant so in the first part of my second trimester what the change has been and just a little bit like that so like I've said in the past couple of my videos the first trimester was pretty rough and a lot of the time during the first trimester, I wasn't super motivated to make content, make YouTube videos. I was very tired a lot of the time, but luckily going into the second trimester has been a very nice, just fulfilling and like I've been feeling fantastic in the second trimester. The first couple of weeks, 13 and 14, were kind of a transition where I wasn't really feeling nauseous, but I would still throw up. But after that kind of subsided, um, it has been, I felt really energized. I felt um, the desire to want to create some things, the desire to want to be productive. And I don't know if that's just me getting into like slowly getting towards this nesting mode of wanting to get things done, but I felt a lot more productive and I felt the desire to do more things each day and get more tasks done rather than being so slow and just feeling icky the whole time while I'm trying to get tasks done throughout the day. Today, I, I currently work 35 hours a week. That has been definitely a lot of my time that's spent is just working besides when it's my husband's home, but I do try to be very present. Um, when my husband's home so that that way we can talk and whatever like comes up we can you know discuss or if you know he wants to have some reading downtime or whatever and that's kind of more so my relaxation time is later in the evening once he comes home after dinner is finished and everything that's the downtime and then during the day I like to be able to get my work week done which is like all of the stuff that I have to do for my virtual job and then I also like to make sure that I'm getting a couple of tasks done. So generally it's just washing dishes and then making dinner and everything. Tonight I'm going to be having leftovers because we have a lot of them. That hasn't really been. So today I got to do um, some laundry and I just tidied up the kitchen a little bit. So that was good. That was just good to get that done. <music> my stomach is a bit bigger um, it just continues to get a little bit bigger every day probably I don't know but probably can't see it at this angle very well but it is it feels humongous to me compared to my usual um but I will say something that I found like my high-rise pants have been very tight on me so I've unbuttoned them like my jeans um stuff like that I used to be able to like pull pull the extra like one of the extra belt loops over and loop it and then clip it together because my waist was smaller than like the waist that they always had but because it was high rise it comes right at like the thickest part of my belly I can't I haven't been um even clipping them together usually for my jeans but I have a pair of low-rise jeans that once again those low-rise jeans had I don't know if it's just because I've worn them too much or whatever but the waist was wider than really it should have been like the waist should have been smaller and so those jeans actually still fit me they can button up they can zip up and because they're low-rise they're like come down to here 
And so they still like fit me all the way around the tummy and they actually fit me much nicer now that I'm pregnant than when I wasn't pregnant and I tried to wear them and I would always have to be like hiking them up and they never felt like completely right. That's been good. I'm hoping to have, be able to stay away from maternity clothes as long as possible, but I do have a, a couple of them on my registry for just in case. I don't know what they're just in case for. I well, I will need them eventually. So I'm hoping to just be able to transition between like a couple different outfits towards the end of my pregnancy. If you notice right now, I am dressed in sweatpants and a t-shirt. So not the nicest clothes. I'm not like a super aesthetic person with my clothes usually, even though sometimes I'll change before my husband gets home just because I don't want to have to wear that all day. I don't want to have to wear that to work, but I will wear that to like do home tasks and for him because I think it's cute. Like you just, at that point you want to look cute, right? When you're by yourself, I feel like there's no reason to be cute. And you just, you don't feel, I mean, obviously you feel more productive when you're wearing something nice. But sometimes I'm like, I don't want to go to work and feel productive. Like, I want to be at home and feel productive. With the stuff that I'm doing, like laundry, that made me feel productive. Anyways, with that, maternity clothes, I haven't really transitioned into many of those. But with Christmas coming around the corner, I just put some of that, like, on my registry, which is on my Christmas list and everything. So I'm sure that I'll have a couple of outfits that I'll be able to wear once I'm bigger and stuff. And... On towards the end of pregnancy, I'm hoping to transition into more nicer clothes than just sweatpants and a t-shirt to prepare for the baby coming and just like to get my mind in just this. I want my mind to be in like the mindset that like every morning I'm coming to my job and my job is a mother and my job is to take care of my baby and to love on my baby and I think like when you wear nice clothes it does reflect that so that's why sometimes like I'll wear nice clothes for the stuff around the house or when my husband comes home because like that's really my main job that's the job that I love doing that's the job that I enjoy and so that's the job that I dress up for just being like a wife and then now that I'm a mother I want to transition into wearing just more so just focusing on dressing for the day rather than you know being in meh the entire day that has been where I'm at as far as second trimester it's been feeling good I've been feeling productive yeah I'm excited to see what the rest of it holds what the holidays hold with family and everything and I'm just I'm really excited for baby to come but it's still a long ways away and it's always a waiting game <laughs> people like the years drag on everyone's like my childhood went so quick I'm like mine did not I waited forever to be done with childhood not that I disliked it it's just I wanted to be an adult I wanted to get married and have my own babies which is what I'm doing which I love and now months really don't drag on I'm like oh my goodness I have so much to do during the day I have work like even just with work there's so much to do so it really doesn't drag on from day to day. I'm like, oh my word, how did a whole entire month just, woo, pass? So I think it really will pass in the next, what, five months? The next five months will pass quicker than I think that they will. And I think that that'll be a really good thing for me because I am excited for baby to be here. And right now I'm just waiting to feel baby. I I think I felt the baby like flutter inside of me a little bit, but I don't know. 
I'm not entirely sure because I don't know what it feels like. But eventually I'm excited for when the baby does like kick my stomach and you can like visibly see it. Um, we are having our first ultrasound at 20 weeks. I don't know why the first ultrasound appointment here in West Virginia is scheduled so late. I don't know. I always kind of wonder with some of these places, like, why, why, why are you doing that that way? Okay, why, ma'am? But anyway, so, um, Drew's gonna be able to get to come to that, and maybe I'll be able to record it, too, to bring you guys along. But until then, that's four weeks away at, from right now. Um, until then, just living normal life and feeling productive.